What is up all you awesome painters? Wild here to give you another Bob Ross alternative and today we're talking about the Bob Ross bucket. The good news is it's just a bucket. So pretty much any bucket will do, but I'm gonna give you my two personal recommendations. I've got two alternatives right here, but we're gonna start with the plastic side first. This is an all-purpose plastic bucket. In fact, it looks exactly like the Bob Ross bucket, except for it's clear. It's a two and a half quart all-purpose bucket that comes with a lid. It's around the same size to accommodate your one inch and two inch and bigger brushes. And it actually tapers down at the bottom meaning these buckets will fit into your Bob Ross diesel. So this makes a pretty good substitute. However, you wanna make sure you look at two things when you're looking at your alternative for a bucket. One, make sure you get a plastic that's thicker. So make sure you hold it in your hand and touch it really quick. Number two is you actually wanna look at the bottom of the bucket. In my country here, we have what's known as like a triangle number. I'm not really sure what that number is called, but there will be a number inside of a triangle and that references what materials made up the plastic. Those numbers also let you know the rigidity and how it can handle certain types of things and chemicals. So you wanna make sure you look at the number to make sure the plastic that you're buying can hold things like solvents and thinners. I don't know if this is a universal number, so please check in your own country what that number means in your country. For the Bob Ross bucket here in the United States, in that triangle is a number two, okay? The other alternative I'm gonna give you is an all-purpose paint can. In fact, this is actually my favorite alternative. Now in my hand here, I've got a smaller size, which is perfect for your filbert, script liner brushes, fan brushes, anything that's a small brush. You can just put whatever you need in here and clean it up nice. If you need something bigger, hey, go with the gallon size all-purpose paint can. It'll accommodate everything like your two inch brush and one inch brush and anything that's bigger. That is awesome because this can hold all different types of mediums, chemicals, and thinners safely. Plus you can seal it up for storage if you need to. Now these are all great substitutes to the Bob Ross bucket. However, these two have major flaws. Generally, when you get the Bob Ross bucket, it comes with something that's important. It comes with the screen cleaner that you can just drop right into your bucket, fill it with thinner, and take your brush and go on top, and it's gonna pull that pigment off and pull it to the bottom of the bucket, making it easier to get a cleaner brush. Unfortunately, I can't find anything just like this that you can buy by itself other than buying just the screen from Bob Ross Company. I was thinking perhaps you could take a screen grid or paint screen and kind of modify it, which I have done in the past. In fact, that's actually what I did for my first uh, painting bucket because I didn't know this thing existed, which you can make yourself, unfortunately, to make that and modify it. It's actually gonna probably cost you right around the same price or even more for the screen. So if you don't wanna buy the Bob Ross bucket, here's what I would do. I would probably stay away from this bucket unless you have the Bob Ross easel because then this will fit right in there and be perfect. I would go with the all-purpose paint can and then buy the Bob Ross cleaning screen on Amazon or from eBay, wherever you can find it for cheaper. That way you can drop this into the all-purpose paint can bucket and you're good to go. I know it's not a complete alternative, but unfortunately, I can't find anything that's a circular cleaning screen. And the ones that I do find are too small. They're for like small glass mason jars and really small jars. And unfortunately, those aren't gonna be accommodating for one inch and two inch brushes. So those are the alternatives I've been able to find for you. You can pick and choose what's going to be best for you. Just make sure you take notice of all the things that are regarding for plastic and also take notice of what you have to use for a cleaning screen if you do go with any of these alternatives. Now, if you think that sounds like too much of a hassle, you know what? I say still just go for the Bob Ross cleaning bucket. Even if you're not a fan of BRI, not making much money off this, you can score this for fairly cheap. I've seen it as low as $6 to 15 USD. You might as well just get it, call it a day, and then find your alternatives in other places, just like the Gamblin 1980 series that I'm gonna put over to the right hand side here, which is a great Bob Ross oil alternative. And if you wanna learn more about the Bob Ross bucket, cause I share some fascinating facts about it, also gonna put that over there. Wild helping you guys with yet another, oh my gosh, almost hit that off the thing. Now let's just get those out of here. Let's just get those out of here. I'll see you next time.